Well, activists descending on the state capitol tonight, demanding that one of their own resign. Assemblymember Christina Garcia was just cleared of harassment allegations. But the attacks against her are getting louder as the assemblywoman makes plans to return to work. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live now at the state capitol with this story. Lamore? Christina and Tony, the national conversation about sexual harassment has already forced out three male lawmakers here at the capitol. Now a female lawmaker, once at the, at the forefront of the Me Too movement, is herself being called on to step down. California's female construction workers are the latest interest group calling on Assemblywoman Christina Garcia to resign, not just for her record on labor issues. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you're able to um, utilize your power in a wrong way. Go away! They're referring to allegations that Garcia acted inappropriately with men who worked for her. But just last week, the Assembly cleared her of those misconduct claims failing to prove that she groped a male staffer and asked others to play spin the bottle while intoxicated. Activists say the investigation is incomplete and displayed that kissing game right in front of Garcia's Capitol office. A little reminder for Ms. Garcia that no matter where the bottle lands, the answer is always no. <laughs> no is also the word Garcia's staff used Are you guys gonna come out? to keep protesters out, calling on Capitol security to keep them back. They've been harassed for the last three months. Tila Schaff is Garcia's communications director, and she remains one of her biggest supporters. She's run on a platform of transparency, of equality, um, and in this office alone, I have seen her do nothing but support and prop up um, women. Christina Garcia has got to go! Now some of those women are determined to see her go. She doesn't represent us. If she's a Me Too hypocrite, it's about power. And when you abuse power, whether you're a man or a woman, it's time to go. Now, Garcia still denies those misconduct allegations, as she's done from day one. And her spokeswoman tells me she's excited to get back to work here sometime this week. We still don't have an official date, but it'll happen very soon. Still interesting twist to this story. We'll see how it plays out in the more. Thanks.